All right, BK from Manforwars.com, 2.58 p.m. here on Saturday, May 16th, 2020. Uh, just at uh, Queen's Park, Ontario Provincial Legislature, continuing with the end of the uh, Saturday Toronto anti-lockdown protest. About 500 people here, uh, just like last week, in much nicer weather. And uh, we'll go take a look and do some more uh, of, of see how people feel about this. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> How you doing, man? You want to say a couple of things about why you're here? Who are you? BK from ManForWars.com, ManForWars Media. I made a highlight video of last weekend's too. Yeah, if you want. If you want, if you don't, fine. Are you pro war or against war? No, no, I'm for men manning up and helping women and children chill out, respecting each other, communicating well, and teaching kids to, saving polite Canadians to save Canada. That's the nutshell. Listen, um, I, I, I'm, you're not, I'm not on this. Oh yeah, no, no. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm just doing the raw video. So if you want uh, to, yeah, I don't, I don't mind if I'm in the back. But I'm not, I got nothing particularly to say. Okay. Except that's it. Yes, people should be. Yeah. Cool, brother. Have a good day. No, no problem. Hey, girls. Would you like to talk about why you're here? Why you're holding the sign? Next time. Next time? Okay. No problem. No problem. Hello. Would you like to talk about why you're holding the sign? Why you're here? She's holding it as a sun sign right now. A sun sign. Yeah. Okay. How about you, sir? You want to talk? I do highlight videos of, of, of what's going on here. Sure, we're not Yahoos or Bozos. So. Why don't you do a little thing for you? Yeah, just their first name and why you're here. Sure. Okay, go ahead. So my name is Lamont Daigle. I've been here in Toronto for 20 years, and quite frankly, I decided to join a celebration of freedom and rights as the lead here in Toronto because there just weren't enough people that were organizing what needs to happen here because, quite frankly, not a lot of people here in Ontario, in Canada, um, I would love to say the rest of the world, actually the rest of the world is gathering and protesting a lot more than we are here in, in Ontario and we're just here to try to get people to wake up. We got what, 350, 400 people here today out of millions of people and they don't understand what's going on yet so that's what we're trying to be here for today. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Anything else? That's about it. I mean, there are so many more issues going on sure. than, than what's happening with COVID. Sure. You know, we've got class action suits going on, vaccinations against 5G, you know, what kind of fabrics you're wearing in your t-shirts and stuff, which needs to talk about, you know, the poison, you know, the poisonization of water, it's uh, food, you name it. There's a whole bunch of reasons why people aren't healthy enough to, um, to survive this kind of stuff if they already have a pre-existing health condition. That's why they're afraid. Healthy people like myself don't need to worry about this, and I don't even carry this stuff around because, quite frankly, I don't put my, myself in positions where I'm carrying viruses around with me. That's not the way this works. You stay clean in your mind, spiritually, and materially, and you don't have any problems with guilt. That's what the problem is here. People are looking for a quick pill, a quick answer as to what's going on today, and it's not. It's not an easy answer. The system has been set up like this for over 300 and something years by, well, we're going to call them, what, Bavarian Illumined Fairies. <laughs> That's what they all are. So they've had a longer time being the bullies against us than we have. We've got, we have three months. We've had three months to get educated, so we're doing what we can here. Gotcha. We'd love to have more support from people, you know, that we live with here in Ontario. So. Cool. Yeah, um, you want me to email you a copy of this? Yeah, sure, sure, man. I did this with 30 people last week, and uh, so I'll email you a copy, and uh, it's all free, the raw videos online, so people can make more. And um, I think, honestly, if we show everybody else that we are polite patriots who yes. get along well with each other yeah. and can help them get along better than many do now, yes. then they'll join us, right? You don't want to be all messed up, no. you know, because of, of you know propaganda messing you up, and then you mess each other up. Sure. Like, you know, you can, we can, we're, we're cool. We're cooler with each other. What's your first name, man? PK. Okay, so listen, um, yep. the organization that I've been building for 25 years is basically ready to rock and roll because we're just putting really great things of, uh, of what's happening here today. Fantastic. Get so there's no order. dot there, no. just Lamont Okay, yeah. got it? Yeah. Thank you. And so, yeah, um, what about your organization? Well, we'll talk about it later. Okay. I, I got to get out of here because my daughter's up at home by herself and we need to go do some shopping now. We should actually be out of here by 3 o'clock, but it looks like nobody's moving. Yeah, that's okay. Well, good luck with your family, sir. I'll be in BK. touch by email. Thank Cheers. You, no problem, man. All right. Hey, girls, you want to talk about why you're here? You want to talk about why you're here? Yeah. I bet.
Okay, hold on. Let, let me, ah, oh, excuse me. I'll just chill with you girls on the grass for a second. What is this for? So this is for ManforWars.com, ManforWars Media. I made a highlight video last week, and uh, I'm making another one of this week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So your first name and uh, and why you girls are here. Stephanie. Okay. Sorry, Evelyn. I'm going to make sure I can hear you both. Go ahead. Evelyn. Evelyn and Stephanie. Stephanie. Can you scooch a little closer? Yeah. yeah. You girls aren't uh, you girls aren't, aren't paranoid about each other? No. Okay. Awesome. So uh, Evelyn and Stephanie, why are you girls here? We're fighting for our freedom and for the, for the government to open up everything because it's not going to. Our economy is not going to do well after this. Yeah. And people are sitting at home comfortably. Like It's all bullshit. The, the hospitals are empty. Everything's empty. My friend's a doctor. He says he's not, he's barely working. He's like on vacation basically right now. You know, he's sitting there just doing phone interviews, answering the phone, dealing with regular patients. And there's so many people that are dying that are not able to go to the hospital for the uh, elective surgeries that they're supposed to have. More people are dying from that than the actual virus. And also, coronavirus is actually in the flu shot and it's given to many different people. So a lot of people that are testing positive for coronavirus, it's actually given to you in the flu shot. So anyone that's had the flu shot most likely will test positive for coronavirus anyway. Gotcha. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> Uh, I got so much information right now. Just not no, that's okay. My head, but no, no, I just, just I need to come out and make a difference. Because yes, there's many of us, but we need to make this bigger. I'm with you. We need I'm everyone to, you know, hear, you know, what we're saying because the, the media is trying to make us look crazy. You know, like they're they're trying and to. And we're conspiracy theorists. Like, yeah. Um, we know exactly what's going on. They're just known to what the media tells them. Sheep. They're sheep. I'm hip. I'm hip, girls. I'm, I'm making a, a highlight video. Do you want me to email you a copy of this? Sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hold on. Your Facebook me. or something? No, I just I, I got kicked okay. off Facebook a while ago, oh. but I um. <laughs>